Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you that how we can split our data. We have a file. I am going to show you that here we have iMod deformability file and uh, it is produced during dynamic simulation. So, MD simulation when we perform in iMods, uh, we get deformability and uh, here we have a text file in which we cannot separate all this data into different columns and if we need only this uh, data for our representation in a graph then how we can split this data into columns and then we can select this data to produce our graph so for this we will go to select this data and then copy it we can also go from here edit copy and then select we look at here our data has been pasted only in a single column in A not in B, C or D so how we split this data into different columns like this one in A, B, C, D, E and F so we will go to data then text to column and here we have fixed width and fields are aligned in column with space between each field so if we have spaces be between each field we can use this one we can also use this one delimited in which characters such as commas or tabs separate each field so we can use this one if we use this one delimited then here we will go to check this space and after using this space we will create and uh, if we are going to use this one it will only choose space so now here i am going to show you this that fixed with with space so we now it will be separated into these different columns according to their space so these lines can be changed their position can be changed and uh, can delete any line by double click on that line we can move this line from this position to this also and uh, also we can click it and then we can paste it where we want to position our then next and when we move to next it gives us that where uh, it is where we want to paste so this is our destination so we can change the destination so if it is selected here then it will paste in our next columns so data will be pasted from this a and then next columns and if we going to select uh, c d e and f so then it will be pasted from c to one word so in this way it is a it is a this one then it will be pasted from a to one word like here it is it will be in a then onward if we are going to select here c then it will be pasted from c to onward like here i am going to show you so now this data is now each column is separated and it has data now we can select any column and copy and then we can paste uh, where we want to uh, make a graph for such data so if we are going to 
make column from A to onward. Then we will select our column that is selected that this column A because all these values are present in A. So I have selected A. Go to data, text to column, and with fix width and next next and from it is from a to onward then we go to finish now it is from a to onward so this is our column a this is our column b data this is our column c d e f and g and uh, similarly if we want to create this data into graph we will select this data and uh, i'm going to show you i'm opening in origin pro you can use uh, your tools for making graph so if i am going to make graph of this data i'm going to paste it here so from here it will be pasted uh, we can uh, cut these two so i am not so we can delete this and also this now it is here here we can uh, use uh, one two three like here if we show you Okay, now I am going to fill column with rows number. Okay, and in this way it has been up to Similarly, uh, we can use some other data also like FTIR data or uh, we can uh, UV visible spectrum data. Here we have FTIR. So we can also uh, use this FTIR. So I am going to, if we have already Microsoft Excel file, here we have. So I am going to paste my data here. Control A, Control C, e, and and I am going to split this. So I have selected this column A and data. So we are going to use delimited because we have. Uh, from top to bottom we have same uh, width and same space so we can use space option also here we can also use this fix width but uh, we are now i'm going to show you that we can use this when we have comma full stop or separated with some other so i am going to check this one now it produces two different column because of this space but this time it cannot be shifted from here if we have comma we will check this one if we if we have semicolon we will check this one so i am going to make tab that's why so here next 
again we can select from which column we are going to paste and uh, then i'm going to finish it now it is in column a and the second one in column b and we can uh, select this data we can go to select this data control c and again we can make another graph so file new new worksheet okay we can use new project or new worksheet control v okay i am going to control a control c no from here control previous video i have already shown you that we can separate our data in this way we can uh, separate our data into different columns and we can make use of different tools to make graph thanks for watching my video